college decision day is upon us. You, you would think cost would be a big factor in that choice, but that's not always the case. Yeah, that's right. Many students aren't taking into account exactly how much they'll need to pay, and then they get stuck with these costly student loans. WMAR 2 News' Mallory Safaste takes a look at college affordability. So, Mallory, what are some of the trends that we're seeing? Yeah, Jamie and Kelly, more than half of Americans with student loan debt have had a problem making a monthly loan payment at least once, and that's according to a survey by Consumer Reports. And here's what else those people had to say about their student loan debt. Quote, I generally feel like my soul is being crushed and I have to skip meals and take money from my children. Now, this, is kind, this kind of debt has had an incredible impact on people's lives, which is why students really need to think about the price tag before picking a school. College has gotten so expensive that some people are rethinking if it's even worth it. In a survey by Consumer Reports, 45% of people with student loan debt said the education is not worth the financial burden. People were saying they had, it really had a big financial impact on their life. Some people were delaying getting married. They couldn't afford to buy a house, a car, or they really, uh, most disturbing, had to cut back on, you know, everyday living expenses like buying groceries. Donna Rosado, a senior editor with Consumer Reports, said most people find themselves in that situation because affordability isn't the biggest factor when students choose their college. Public university uh, averages about $20,000 a year, um, and that's $80,000 over four years. And for, pub I'm sorry, for private universities, it's double that. A good rule of thumb in determining whether you'll be able to pay off those loans is to think about how much you'll make when you graduate. Not to borrow more than you expect to earn annually in those early years of your career. Uh, the average student earns about $50,000 um, with a bachelor's degree when they graduate these days. Even if you make 50, a $50,000 loan over 10 years is around 500 a month. And the loan you choose also is significant. Rosado recommends federal loans over private. Federal student loans have many more consumer protections built into them, and they have more flexible repayment options. Such as income-based repayment plans, loan forgiveness programs, and deferred payment if you decide to go back to school. And with federal loans, unsubsidized loans accumulate interest as soon as the money is dispersed, while interest for subsidized doesn't start adding up until you're six months out of school. Another tip, it's never too late to apply for financial aid. Even if you're already in college, you can apply up until the end of the semester you're currently in. And there are tools out there that can help you calculate the costs and financial aid so you really have a good idea of how much it's going, all going to cost you.